in the world of fragrance, making you smell delicious and offending you at the same time may be considered especially heinous. In New York City, a gorgeous Cubano and his elite squad of ball sprayers will seek out these colognes and investigate them. This is his story. Bitch. Ooh, I'm gonna get some hate for this fucking video. I'm with the fuck shit today. I need a little bit of fuckery for the holiday season because this fragrance is from an amazing fragrance house. Amazing perfumery they compose. I have a few of their fragrances and this one is probably up there with ones that people love from this house. And me, I just think it's blah. Yeah. Nah. Now let's roll my motherfucking music and get the fuckery ready because I'm ready for the bad comments. Listen, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. Yeah, let's get ready to run. Oh, son, I'm gonna get mad hate on this video. I predict about 20 thumbs down within like the first hour at least. But you know what? The fact of the matter is, fragrance opinions are like assholes. Everybody's put a finger in one. Yo, full disclosure, I do not hate this fragrance. I'm gonna start off by saying that. I just think it's meh. Especially for the fact that for a 70 mil, it's over 200 and something dollars. For something that's just wah wah. The fragrance that I'm talking about and y'all motherfuckers are gonna be like, <gasps> is none other than Mace Francis Kirk de Jong Grand Soar. This decant was sent to me by the lovely Joe Sent Me. Shout out to Joe Sent Me. Joe Sent Me has got one of the best niche noses in the game. He thought I would absolutely love this shit. And you know what? I don't. I think it's kind of just eh. Why? Because I feel it's super linear and it's kind of basic. Literally, it's vanilla, tonka, amber. The shit is kind of like a mix of a Bath and Body Works candle and a Cinnabon. I don't think it's that lit for 200 plus dollars. For me, if I want something that's amber, tonka, vanilla, I'm gonna shoot for like Ajmal amber wood that is like a fraction of the price for more quantity and performs like a savage. This is just, eh. Like, I get why people like it. Don't get it twisted. I do understand it. It's a pretty fragrance. It's got great performance. MFK is known for producing bangers. However, yeah, like I don't, this shit don't arouse me. This doesn't make my left nut tingly. This shit don't get me litty for titties. Like it's just, I feel like legit. I smelled like the dope candle at Bath and Body Works, but the dope candle that's about this big with four wicks that your chick passed over because it's $28 and it's this big because nobody uses a candle this big. Like it's just, yeah. I know it's a cardinal sin. Y'all are probably gonna turn the channel off. And you know what? I appreciate that because I caused the reaction in your tingly spine going down your vertebrae. Grand Soar, 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 to me, is just nah. I think MFK produces way better fragrances than this. I know it's got like fucking 10 stars and it's like the fucking the moon and back. But for me, I'll spray my car seat with it or maybe my trunk or something. I don't think this shit is lit, especially for 200 and something dollars. It's around the lines of like Feb Delicious or whatever, but nah. Yo, that's just my personal opinion. I don't think this is that lit. Maybe some of y'all will actually agree with me, but I I predict, like Walter Mercado, mucho, 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 amor, that half of y'all, if not 87.685 of y'all, is gonna disagree with me and be like, yo, this dude don't know what the fuck he's talking about. He's officially lost it. He did five more lines than he should have, or he literally deep throated an entire bottle of whiskey and he's lost his fucking keister. No, bitch, I haven't. I just think that this shit is nah. That's pretty much it. Nothing more, nothing less. This is a ball sprayer. Do I even have to answer that? I just put the fucking decan away. It's not a shitty fragrance. I just think it's a fragrance that's worth like 60 bucks, $65. Maybe I'll feel different if the price tag wasn't so crazy, but it's yeah, yeah. That's just my opinion on this particular fragrance. MFK Grand Soir fans, I'm sorry that I hurt your heart. 
Sorry, not sorry. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart and these MFK unsprayed balls. I'll see y'all bitches next time. Make sure to leave the hate below because I live for this shit. Smooches. For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga gay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.